trials of mana welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen my name is the british eagle and today we are diving flying soaring into a brand new series on the channel and that is trials of mana i am so excited to play this game if you are new to the channel hi welcome my name is the british eagle and we play a lot of series or, or we play a lot of games like this where it is blind to me and it's a jrpg and we just do our best to beat the game and you guys give me feedback on how i do um if you're not new welcome back uh thank you guys for being here for this brand new series uh dragon quest 8 just finished so now we are jumping into this game and i'm so pumped the graphics look beautiful the the artwork for this game is really what drew me in i have never played a trials of mana game i know that this is a remake from the original from what i understand um and i have kept everything uh, completely blind like I tried to make thumbnails but anyway let's get into this I'm talking way too much I'm gonna hit the a button if you guys are excited hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel we are so close to a thousand subscribers at this point I think we're like a hundred subs away if you guys can hit the sub button that would mean a lot to me I'm so pumped anyway let's go into options before we do anything so I've done some test trial runs with this audio by recording this like intro screen here and i've been listening to the audio i think six and six is good for the actual game audio and then i want the voices of the characters to be pretty loud i, I want you guys to be able to hear what they say clearly over top of any loud music so you guys let me know in the comment section do you think this is good or do you think i need to increase any of these settings um so let's go ahead and keep looking so remake i'm gonna leave a lot of these the way they are subtitle speaker text speed is auto progression what's the other option instant oh do you hear that click when i switch ready oh oh my gosh that ruffles my jimmies right there in a good way in a good way uh so let's see i'm gonna leave everything the same camera speed i may adjust depending on the gameplay i'm not sure what we're getting into so uh once i start playing maybe i'll adjust the settings but Controller vibration on, absolutely. Gotta love those vibrations. Battle animations on, rotate minimap off. Um, if anyone's played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you probably are like me where you don't want the minimap on to rotate because it is just brutal. Uh, minimap display, yes. Mission display on, control display on. Ooh, bright. Oh my gosh, this is what I've seen so far, like these kind of graphics, and I am in love. I am so pumped to get into this. Uh, dash options, normal, customize control settings. I think I'm good. This is already set up. As you can see, I'm using an Xbox controller to play this. That's what I use for everything. So, uh, screen mode window, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS. Perfect. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're good. So if you guys are ready, let's go into this new game. I am so excited. I hope you guys are too. Uh, one thing I want to say before we hit the new game button and, and we go into this, uh, no spoilers, please. You guys are welcome to, like you did in Dragon Quest VIII, XI, Radiata Stories, all those series on my channel. You're welcome to leave feedback and ideas, but just please don't spoil stuff. Please, like, don't tell me, oh, if you go in this room, you meet this character. Just, like, little hints and tips, and I'll mention things as we go through the game. I'll say, oh, guys, call this out. Tell me if this is important. Um, but, yeah, just please no spoilers. Uh, also, don't spoil it for other people in the comment section. But here we go. Oh, okay, it's literally, I thought it was going to jump right into the game. Okay, so 50, yes. Oh, we get to choose our, oh, interesting. So beginner is beginner difficulty setting for those who wish to main, uh, focus mainly on the story. You can resume in the same spot no matter how many times you get a game over. Easy is easy difficulty settings for those who find the action games a little hard. Normal difficulty setting and hard challenging difficulty setting for action game pros so for now i think we'll go normal i feel like i've played enough jrpgs to where i can handle it um but we'll see uh i mean I, yeah we'll see difficulty settings can be changed during the playthrough so yeah if it gets too tough maybe we'll turn it to easy but for now we're going normal also i don't talk in cutscenes, so yeah 
Oh, it's not a cutscene. It goes right into this. So Duran is our first character. Oh my gosh, look at this. Duran is a proud young soldier from Valsena, Kingdom of the Plains. Though he comes across as hot-headed and ready for a fight, the whole kingdom acknowledges his skill with a blade. Duran has nothing, oh, whoops, uh, nothing but love for his kingdom and respect for the hero king. A good friend of his departed father, Loki, the Golden Knight. So it says Duran has swords as a weapon. His bio is that he's got high attack power slash defense with shield. His home is Valsena. Interesting. So it looks like I can add two companions. And we've got strength is a B rating. Stamina is A. That's great. Intellect is E. Ugh. Uh, spirit is D and luck is C. So what am I doing here? Am I just selecting? Oh, oh my God. I love this. This looks so cool. The character's artwork is amazing. So Angela, let's go through these characters, guys, if you don't mind. Angela is the only daughter of the true queen of Al Altena, the snow-covered kingdom of magicians. Because Angela's mother hardly spent any time with her as a child, the princess was prone to act out to get attention, wearing gaudy clothes and playing pranks on people in the castle. Despite this, her love for her mother runs deep. Uh, Angela never got the hang of casting magic spells, a problem that plagues her to this day. Wands, ranged magic and mass targeting spells, Altena, Altena, uh, e, E, A, A, and C. So this is choosing our main character. We got Kevin here. We've got Charlotte. Oh my God, you're adorable. Hawkeye. Ooh, that's cool. We've got Reese. So from what I do understand, there is a certain, um, you get a different story depending on who you choose to play as. I want to kind of go with the main focal point of, uh, of this game, which seems to be Duran. He seems to be the main person from all the trailers I've seen or the uh, artwork. He seems to be in the center. So I feel like I'll choose him. Um, I also do plan on being a hack and slash kind of guy. Although I do want some companions that have magic. So let's see. So Kevin has fists. Um, ooh, you've got flails, healing and support magic user. Oh, Hawkeye's got daggers, speedy fighter with luck and finding items. Ooh, and Reese has range attacks. Okay, so I probably want her as my companion. So let's go with Durant. Should I read the rest of the dialogue? Yeah, let's read the rest of these uh, the characters' dialogue here, or their uh, background. Kevin is heir to the throne of Feralia. His father is the king. Uh, oh, whoops! Uh, the father of the king of the beastmen, but his missing mother was a human woman. Kevin's father raised him to be a fighting machine, which affected his social skills. He is unused to conversing. He is unused to conversing with humans, which can make him hard to understand at times. The ice around the young boy's heart only began to melt after making friends with Carl, the wolf pup. I like this guy. He reminds me kind of a Yamcha character. Um, we've got Charlotte. Charlotte is the granddaughter of Wendell's Priest of Light. She looks much younger than she is thanks to the elfin blood in her veins. Perhaps because of this, she has always been coddled by the people who raised her in the temple. Charlotte's bright and outgoing personality can both be an asset and a hindrance. Though curious, she's suspic uh, superstitious and a bit of a scaredy cat. Hawkeye hails from the desert fortress of Nev Navarre, home of the Guild of Noble Thieves. He was raised as the orphan ward of Flamecon, uh, Flamecon, the leader together with Flamecon's own children, Eagle and Jessica. Hawkeye comes across as a laid-back and charming young man, making it hard to tell when he's being serious. But at his core, Hawkeye is a fiercely loyal friend. Nothing gets past his honed senses and quick wit. And last but not least, we got Reese. Reese, you guys will have to let me know how to pronounce this. Um, so Reese is the young princess of the mountainous kingdom of Laurent and captain of the renowned Amazon Guard. She has a will of iron and down-to-earth manner. Though some might call her stubborn, Reese is always there to lend a hand to those who need it. She lost her mother as a child and since then has tried to help raise her little brother, Elliot. Her topmost priorities are her father, brother, and kingdom. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's select our character here. The name's Duran. Dude, we get voice acting. Let's go. Oh, so now we get to choose our sidekicks. Okay, so I like the idea. I'm kind of debating between Charlotte and Hawkeye. I like that he can maybe find items. He's got decent strength, intellect, and then his luck is really good. Also, daggers are pretty cool. I want Reese on my team. Uh, I don't know. Angela could be good. She uses a wand. She has rained magic and mass targeting spells. I think we might go with her. So I'm thinking, oh, but I really, oh, I like all these characters. I really do. 
Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna go with... Evan's cool. Okay, Angela. So who's better between the two of them? Wow, intellect and spirit is an A. And she seems to be a bit more balanced. But that spirit and intellect and luck being a C is not terrible. I'm gonna choose Angela. She's gonna be our... All right, we got Angela on the team. And now we've got to choose our third companion. I love Charlotte. I love the fact that she's got flails. I think that's cool. Um, I kind of want to go Hawkeye or Re... Uh, Charlotte or Hawkeye. Again, I like the idea of collecting items, being able to find them. Uh, he's got decent strength, decent intellect. I think we go with Hawkeye for now. Um, Man, this is tough. There's so many good characters. What about um Kevin? What does he do? Fist, high attack, and nightmare. I mean, strength is more so my character, so I'd want someone with something different here. I think we're going to go with this character. He's got good luck. I, that's what we're going to do. Renowned thief from Navarro. All right, here we go. Proceed with this party. Let's do it. Yes. Silver and gold mana statues. Interact with silver mana statues to save your game. Gold mana statues will restore your HP and MP. Nice. Duran, hey, you're up. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Commence the final match for the Sword Mastery Tournament Youth Division. Combatants, forward. <laughs> I'll break you like a dry noodle. Give it a try. I dare you. Begin. About time I took you down. Oh, are we just jumping into this? Yo, this is cool. Okay, weak attack. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is sick. Okay, power attack. Ooh. Okay, so we can dodge and roll with X. We can jump with A. Oh, we can do an in-air dodge and roll? Whoa. Okay, so power attack. Almost done. I can do this. Is that not what he wanted? Did I not get him? Hit your enemy with a single strong blow. Am I not charging up all the way or something? I thought I got him though. Huh. Am I not doing something right? Oh, wait, there's bumpers. Hold on, wait. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, I clear. Oh, I just had to press it. Oh, I was holding it. They just wanted me to press it. Okay, so now it's this. And you can walk forward. Bruiser level one. Collect particles to increase your CS gauge. Uh, press and hold LB and then X. Oh, <gasps> cross cut. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Like I was saying before, guys, when we get cutscenes, I'll try to stay quiet. I forfeit. I forfeit. We have our new champion, Duran! You've come far in your training, lad. Duran, soldier from Valsena, Kingdom of the Plains. His father, Loki, the Golden Knight and friend to the hero King Richard, went missing when the young soldier was but a child. His mother succumbed to sickness and grief, leaving him and his younger sister, Wendy, to their aunt Stella. Like his father before him, the boy could not deny the pull of the blade. From a young age, he outshone all other swordsmen and eventually came to be in service to the king himself. Hang in there. The next shift is on its way. Hmm. I'll do one more round in the meantime. Papa, where are you 
going? Off to slay some dragons. The fearsome beast known as the Dragon Lord is the strongest of its kind. But don't worry. His Highness and I won't lose. Now, take care of your mother and sister while I'm gone. Understood, son? Several months later. Madam, your husband, Loki. He took a blow meant for me, causing both him and the Dragon Lord to fall into the depths of an abyss. My men and I searched the area for a week, but to no avail. We could not find Loki. I see. He fulfilled his duties as the Golden Knight. Until the very end. I'm sure that's what he would have wanted. <sighs> Simone, my lady. Oh, Stella. How could you let your illness go untreated for so long, Simone? If Loki knew I was ill, he would have neglected his duties for my sake. I just couldn't hold him back like that. <sighs> you're, you're both such fools. Stella, my children. Do not fret, Simone. I will take care of them as if they were my own. You have my thanks. Simone? Be sleeping on the job. What? Come on, don't give in. What happened here? Huh? What's that? Yo, all right, chase after the interloper. Um, so what can we do in terms of interacting? Oh, okay. Ugh. Wow, this is cool. So this is going to be a lot different. Anyone who's seen my Dragon Quest series, obviously those games are different to this. So uh, it's not going to be turn-based combat. It's going to be live action. Just go in and fight. I'm going to take a look around and see what I can do. I'm not sure if I can interact with too many things or like what, what can I actually do? All right, so silver and gold mana statues. Interact with silver mana statues to save your game. Gold mana statues will restore your HP and MP as well as save your game. You can also save your progress at an inn. Okay, cool. So can I do anything with these? Oh, oh, I was going to say, can I break stuff? No. Doesn't look like I can. Okay, let me take a look around. So I talked to that guy. Um. Oh, wait, hold on. Ugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can save really quick at the statue here. Save the game? Yes, please. I would like to. Uh, yep, we'll save right here. Very quick and easy. I like it. Uh, what does this say? Something about the map? Oh, okay. This is cool. So we've got items here. Organize your ring menu from the item menu. Press the up button, directional button to bring up the ring menu while exploring or battling. Remember that on the field or during battle, you can only use the 12 different item commands that are set to the ring menu. You can stock up to nine of each item to use per battle. Interesting. So we don't have anything yet. Okay, so we can't do anything there. Gear stats. Oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> This is so cool. Okay, so equipable, equipable items. Wow, that was weird. Uh, bronze sword, patch vest, uh, abilities. 
So wait, hold on. Ooh, so we can look at these individually. So can I sort? Okay, so there's nothing there. So we can see on the right side, Duran's level one. Next level is 30 experience, I guess. There's training points. Uh, 92 HP, 4 MP, 11 attack, 10 defense. The rest look pretty average. Um, so then we've got locked abilities, class strikes, cross cut, a quick leap forward followed by a damaging cross slash. Wow, that's cool. Costumes, we've got default costumes. Very cool. Training? Ooh, use the training points you obtain after leveling up to learn moves and abilities increase your stats. Moves, magic spells and attacks you learn will be automatically added to the move ring menu. Press the down directional button to bring up the menu and select a move while exploring the field or battling. Using moves cost MP. All right, cool. So what is this? So I've got counter, HP plus 10, quick heal, status effect time shortened by 30%. Spirit plus five, luck, 50% chance of not getting knocked out. Wow, this is cool. Oh, you can go through the list of options. Oh, and it shows you how many training points you need. Now, we obviously have zero, but mo all of these costs, they start with two, and then they go up. Strategy? Oh, this is nice. Wow, okay, so use moves without MP falling below 75%. Okay. Adventure log. Oh, nice. This is where I can figure out what to do. Okay, very cool. Stat display, I guess. Oh, nice. We've got Duran here. Nice, very cool. All right, let's go chase after this person. Um, now, can I... Oh, I can sprint. That was cool. If I push the, the button in, I can... Okay, so... I can't destroy any of these crates. I was hoping to get, like items or something. What about these barrels? No, okay. Oh. Halt! Who are you? <laughs> you are sharper than you look. <laughs> oh, we're just going right into a fight. The fact that you are considered the best fighter in this miserable castle. I think it's time I show you how powerless you really are. No more talking! <laughs> what senile old fool would entrust the security of the castle to a child? Oh, my apologies. You work for the king, do you not? What? Don't you dare insult his majesty! Now the finishing blow! Someone infiltrated the castle! Find them! Huh. Seems you'll live another day. No matter. If all the king can boast is soldiers of your caliber, we can take this kingdom anytime we choose. Last night, an unknown wizard managed to penetrate our defenses. The soldiers on duty were no match for him. Duran was the only survivor. Yeah. Witnesses say the man was wearing a red cloak. It has to be that Altenish cur. The Crimson Wizard. You mean Altenus and a spy? <laughs> no honor among the lot of them. We should mount a full-scale attack on their forces before they sneak in again. Who's with me? Right! right. Hold! There is no definitive proof that Altena sent the intruder. Nor would they have reason to attack our kingdom in the first place. We cannot act rashly. Whoever attacked last night got past our defenses and some of our best soldiers. If we act hastily, we could fall into our enemy's trap. First, we must strengthen the castle's defenses and increase the guard. 
Then we shall send our own spies into Altanish territory. Yes, sir. But why would the true queen of Altena attack Valsena of all places? So, uh, explore the surrounding town. So, one thing I wanted to talk about is that I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. I'm going to kind of play it by ear, but you guys will be getting these Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Unlike the Dragon Quest series, I am just going to do three episodes a week, every week, uh, instead of every other day episodes. I think it's nice to change things up. Also, let's push these buttons. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we got nothing there. And, oh, that's moves and items. Interesting. I love this. This is so cool. How's that injury? His majesty was asking. I still can't believe the interloper got the better of someone as good as you. Wow, thanks a lot, dude. Don't let the crimson wizard get you down. Come out dancing with me instead. Well, maybe. We'll see what we're up to. Uh, what are you going to say? There are soldiers on guard all over town. I've never seen it like this. Your little sister is looking out for you. You shouldn't make her worry. Go home. All right, I guess we will. Um, is there anything I can... Oh, use dash to change your traveling speed. Once you've pressed dash once, you don't have to keep pressing it. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I didn't know that. All right, well, it looks like there's not too much I can do here yet. Um... His Majesty the King will take care of this Altenish cur. Mark my words. All right, well, let's head outside then. Let's progress. Whining, huh? I walk around town, might clear my head some. Dude, this is beautiful. Look at this game. It's stunning. So you got the mini map in the top right corner. It also says below the mini map, uh, Valsena, Kingdom of the Plains, explore the surrounding town. Okay. So is there anything I haven't looked at yet? What's the, oh, there's the map. If you press the select button, shade time, Luna day. I guess that's the music we're listening to. Very cool. And you can zoom out and zoom in. So it looks like that's the inn right there. There is the winery or the food or, or sorry, the uh, bar, I mean. Uh, there's a ooh, a sword and a sh uh, uh, armor shop. And then there's some candy looking thing on the green uh, box. Okay, interesting. All right, so I don't know that I... Do I have any money? Yeah, I don't have any gold, so I don't think I can do anything with... Uh, purchasing stuff. Wow, this is so cool. But look at this. I love that you can also, like, attack in the middle here. Like, just in the middle of the town. So just getting used to the combat. Oh, that's cool. You can do that. Mid-air attack, mid-air dodge and roll. Oh, hold on. What's this? Obtain two lucre. Lucre? Lucre. Interesting. And I've got the dash on, so I don't need to turn it on and off. Okay. So this is kind of like Dragon Quest or, or most JRPGs where you can explore the town and find stuff hidden around here. I wonder if we can find treasure chests. Oh, we can. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love this. And he taps it like uh, in Kingdom Hearts when uh, Sora taps the treasure chest. So what did we just get? So we just got a fairy walnut. Recovers allies MP by 50. So if I set item. Okay. So it's already automatically set. So, oh, okay, I can, oh, that's awesome. I'm starting to get the hang of this, nice. Yeah, bear with me, guys. If you are big fans of this game and you're watching me play and you're like, oh my gosh, British, what are you doing? This is horrible. I, trust me, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, can I destroy these? Oh, I can. Okay, so they had like a glow around them, which makes me think that those are the things you can hit. Okay, so we got one item, wait, what did we get again? 
Oh, we got an item seed. Plant in the magic pot to grow an item. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. All right, so let's explore the whole town. Let's see if we can find any of the Lucrays, is what they're called. If, if I'm understanding that right, Lucre. Okay. Uh, why? Oh no, that's a, oh, six Lucre. Nice. Uh, we can jump over here, grab that. A medicinal herb. Yeah. Oh, it, dude, this is so Dragon Questy. I love it. Yes. Like I said, guys, part of the reason why I chose this game was because of, oh, a magic rope. I chose this game because the art style. I really didn't know anything coming into this in terms of the combat. I saw a very minor, like, two second fight scene. And I, obviously, like, I didn't see much else. Oh, can I climb up there? Oh, oh this is amazing. Okay, so we got a Stardust Herb. Very cool. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I saw the artwork for this game, and I thought, okay, I don't know how this game works, but I'm going to try this just from the look of the the brief trailer I saw, and also the, um, uh, the what's it called? The, the graphics. The graphics are what drew me in. The art style, I should say. Um, okay, what else can we find? I love this. Let's keep exploring. Item seed. Oh, I'm so glad we didn't just progress the story. We found a ton of stuff. So let me go back here. Oh, there's a chest. Let's go. Poggers, dude. A cup of wishes. <laughs> well, call me a cup. Oh, nothing to do here. Okay, so it's forcing me to go into a certain direction in here. That's cool. I'm, I'm down with that. Is there anything else back here? Did I already check here? I think I did. Um, I think we're good now. Uh, oh, wait, no. Hold on. Uh, we got nothing from there. Did it just, like, respawn? Was that one I already got, or was it just an empty one? Uh, can I, now I want to see where else I can jump to. Um, okay, so we got that. I think we're good. Real quick, let's take a look at these items. So we got Fairy Nut Medicinal Herb heals ally status effects. Stardust Herb dispels all ally magic effects. Couple Wishes revives a fainted ally, restores all HP, and Magic Rope returns party to the entrance. So those automatically go to our list there. Item seeds. Okay, so what about gear and stats? Did I get anything? No, no. Okay, so I didn't get anything there. Bronze Sword we still have. Okay, cool. Just checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. Wow, what a cool start to this. All right, so if I look at the map, it looks like where we have to go. Uh, we can go to the inn. We can go there. Is it giving me a clear direction as to where I should go? Oh, I just realized on the map, are those green dots? Like, I wish there was like a key or something to tell us what they are. But I think it's just people that you can talk to. All right. So let's head towards. Um, so we came out of we came out of there. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, and there's this guy to talk to. Hold on, let's try this. The Crimson Wizard is a legendary. Is oh, is legendary, but I never would have thought that cow that coward was a bloodthirsty spy. Every soldier on duty was defeated by a single wizard. I doubt any of us are safe. Also, if you guys don't know and you're new to the channel, I do a lot of voice acting. Uh, not like professionally, but I do a lot of the voice acting in games where there's no voice actors. So. Uh, yeah, enjoy those voices. It's not my place to tell a soldier what to do, but your aunt and little sister have been worried. Perhaps you should go home tonight. <sighs> All right, so let's... Oh, <gasps> magic pots. If you see a seed, try planting it in an inn's magic pot located near the front desk. You can grow items and equipment from the various types of seeds. The pot will level up the more seeds you plant. The higher your magic pot level is, the better your chance at getting good items from item seeds. Enemies will drop seeds more often too. Oh, wow. You can grow items and equipment. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we'll plant all three. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, it's just an instant. Oh, it just. Oh. Obtain ton, ton oil? And we got candy? Whoa, that's cool. Okay. That is amazing. Oh, is this our home? Or. Hmm, I don't know. Can we read books on the shelf like before? The old for that old fortune teller was right. I must go back for more guidance. Okay, I sure. All right, so let's head out. Oh, dude, I love this game. It looks so good. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, that was a nice little sliding dash we did there. 
Okay, so let's go up here and see what is in this building. Now, this is not our home, but I just want to check out all the places. How can we rest easy when Castle Balsana itself was assaulted? I should ask the fortune teller. Head to the fortune teller. Ooh, okay. Is there anything else I can uh, get from here? Let me see if there's any items I can obtain. Um, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hey, we got some Lucre. So we have 32 already. Oh, we can read books. Switching classes. Classes. A hidden power of some mana stones is the ability to draw out the latent abilities of adventurers seeking to switch their classes. Experience dictates when one can change classes. Without a specified level of battle, experience 18 for class 2 and 38 for class 3. The adventurer cannot switch. Class 3 is one of the highest known classes. Its power is so great that Master Grand Croix sealed it away. Without a certain magical item, one cannot unlock the class. Croix, more like La Croix, am I right? <laughs> Got him. Um, okay, so the fortune teller. Let's go ahead to the fortune teller. Might as well, right? Let's see what they have to say, and then we'll go find our sister and aunt. Uh, fortune teller. Let me see if it shows it differently on the map. Okay, so there's a giant yellow star there. Um, I guess that's where the fortune teller is? Uh, right here? Or is this our house? I think this is our house. Oh, no, it's not. It is the fortune teller. <sighs> is there anything to get in here? No, just talk to the fortune teller. Welcome, young man. This shop is for reading fortunes. Your pinched face tells me you have a lot on your mind, son. My what? People's lives are 99% destiny. But the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It is up to you to decide. We call that final 1% hope. Come now. <laughs> Anyone can see you bear a great burden. Let this old bird set you on the right path. Fortunes? Why would I trust my fate to something like that? All I believe in is strength. But I'll listen to what you have to say if you tell me how to become more powerful. Manners, you oaf. No need for rudeness. <laughs> to become more powerful, you must head to Holy City Wendell. The Priest of Light can teach you how to switch your class. My class? Son, you listen and you listen good. Even a clueless fighter like yourself can eventually change to a better class. Now get out of my shop. Well, that was an experience. Get ready for your journey. Okay, wow, we are getting ready to Switching start this classes, journey. Huh? It means I can defeat that crimson jerk. I'll do anything. Well, better head to Wendell and see what all this fuss is about. So I thought we wanted to see our sister, right? So let me go, uh, let me head back to, I guess our house is up here, right? Over this side. Oh, here we go. I don't think this is, yeah. What they're talking about is leaving to go change your class at a different city, it sounds like. I think this is where we live. Dude, this is beautiful. This game is stunning. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments what you think of the artwork and the style. Is it just me or is it this just absolutely amazing looking? The music is really good too. I, I like how smooth it is to control your character. Very easy to, to battle and, and just, I don't know. I just picked it up and immediately was able to fight. Just easy. That lousy, conniving, murderous, crimson wizard is dead meat. I won't let him get away. Not again. I won't come back until he's finished. I won't. Leave Valsina or Valsena? Yeah, sorry if I mispronounced some of these uh, places. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this already. I think I have, because uh, I did a couple test recordings, but let me know about the audio. I'm happy to adjust it and change it. I'm really sorry if it's not perfect. <sighs> sorry, Wendy. Aunt Stella. I really am. Wait. 
wait. Aunt Stella. Here. I know you already have a bronze sword, but take this instead. Is this? This is the sword your father used when he was a young man. Back in the day, he even won a tournament with it against the young king himself. Oh. Now be off. I'll explain the situation to Wendy, don't worry. Be sure to stop by the castle to see the king before you leave. He's waiting to hear from you. How does he know? Don't be silly. He knew your father. Of course, the son of Loki would want to travel the world. I too knew this day would come. I've raised you as if you were my own son, after all. Thanks, Aunt Stella. I'll be back. I promise. planning a journey, Duran. Your Majesty! Forgive me. It was my weakness that allowed the enemy to escape so easily. I wish to atone for my mistakes. I cannot forgive the wizard for what he did. For the first time in my life, I was utterly powerless. He not only defeated me, he insulted you, my king! He must pay for this. I do not plan to return home until he has answered for these crimes. I... cannot. Acknowledged. You have my blessing on your journey. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> His resolve is truly admirable. I'd fear that perhaps he was raised too proud. But I see that he is just like his father at that age. All right, so Lee Valsena or Valsena again, don't know how to pronounce it. Also, I'm curious, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, if I had chose a different starting character, how would that have changed things? Like, would we have still started in Valsena or would we have started in a different city? Because if that's the case and it's not just like this character would have, like if I had chose Charlotte, would Charlotte have been with like with Stella and the little girl and the whole loki story would that have been for charlotte instead of um our character duran i'm just curious how that would have worked um also what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go and check out the inn did i already come here or no oh this is where the seeds were so hold on let's check these out oh oh no that's right they don't sit there they just what in the world <laughs> welcome okay so we can save the game here that's good let's record your progress then so i'm gonna how many files can I save? Oh, I can just do that. Oh, let's do, let's save the file just in case I want to go back for whatever reason. Um, okay, this is cool. I love this. I don't know. This guy's dancing like crazy, but guys, I'm going to call it an episode right there. Like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to do most of these episodes. I, I would guess typically it's going to be about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere around in between there. Um, it's going to vary, obviously, on boss fights, cutscenes, things like that that maybe draw it out. But episode one has to be a longer one because it's the first episode of this brand new series. I am so excited to keep recording and playing this game. Again, please give me your feedback. I, I really do appreciate it uh for audio for sound voice acting all that stuff please let me know how you feel thank you so much for your support hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as we're on the road to a thousand subscribers i will catch you guys in the next episode which again will be mondays wednesdays and fridays until next time i'm out peace